Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing today? I miss you all so much, but I'm so happy that you are joining me here um, with these videos so you can hear me read books to you. I miss doing that so much in our classroom, and I'm really hoping that we'll get to go back soon. But we're lucky to be home and safe and with our families, so I hope you're enjoying it. Um, make sure you're spending a lot of time outside, running around, getting at all that energy. Since spring is here, a lot of the days have been beautiful, but there's also a lot of rain, which is okay. Today we're going to be reading about butterflies and caterpillars. Did you know that caterpillars turn into beautiful butterflies? Well, the story we're going to read today is called From Caterpillar to Butterfly, and we're going to learn a little bit about how a class has um, kind of like a class pet. They have a caterpillar in a jar, and they're going to watch it turn into a big, beautiful butterfly. Are you ready? Here we go. By Deborah Helligman, illustrated by Bari Weissman. And now that it's spring, you may see a lot of butterflies flying around. And I also saw that some of you started a garden. I hope that you have some butterfly visitors to your garden. That would be so special. Look, I can tell that they are in a classroom. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It's eating green leaves. It's climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a big, beautiful butterfly. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outside. They live in gardens and meadows and yards. But we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. That was a big word, metamorphosis. So here is a caterpillar in the jar. But I can tell that this little girl is looking at the butterflies outside. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. Here it is. And this is what it's going to turn into. Wow. That's mama. There's baby. It's so cool. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. Wow, look at them munching away on the leaf. This reminds me of a book that we know. I'll give you a hint. It begins like this. The Big Hungry Caterpillar. Yeah, these caterpillars are hungry. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat so it will grow and grow and grow. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day it is bigger. Wow, that's probably so fun to watch. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar's skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. It's getting bigger and bigger. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to our school. It's almost as big as my little finger now. Wow. It's almost as big as his pinky finger. There he is. He looks so excited. I would be too. 
our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk. It uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. Instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. Here's the chrysalis. So this is what it was before, and then the chrysalis will begin to cover the whole body. And there he is, in the jar, hanging from the button. Is that a real button that you would have on your pants or on a shirt? No. It's just something that would attach the chrysalis to the branch. And here he is. It's almost like he's hibernating like a bear. Every day the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening. But inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of the chrysalis? We can hardly wait. But we do, and we wait, we wait, we wait. Look at them, they're trying to do their work, but all they can focus on is the chrysalis. Then one day, during snack time, somebody shouts, look! And we all rush over to see. The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. So here it is beginning to crack. A little bit more, a little bit more. And out pops the butterfly. It's magical. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly. And we saw it happen. So this kind of butterfly is called a painted lady. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. What does damp mean? If something is damp, do you know what that means? It's okay if you don't. If something is damp, it means it's a little bit wet. It hangs onto the chrysalis while its wings flap, 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 flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and start to dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to fly. Wow. It says here, in two hours the wings are dry and the butterfly is ready to fly. So it takes about two hours for the wings to dry out. And then it'll be on its merry way. What do you think the students are going to do with it? You can't keep it in the jar. What would you do with your butterfly? Would you let it fly away? Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It's a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar and the butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. It's okay to feel a little bit sad, but it has to go live its life, right? We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coiled tube called a proboscis. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar, and that caterpillar will turn into a big, beautiful butterfly. So here they're sipping the juice out of the flowers. That's how they eat. How many different butterflies can you find around your neighborhood? Here are some common ones to look for. A monarch butterfly, a black swallowtail, cabbage white, a dog face butterfly, common blue, a buckeye. And here are some other places that you can go to see some butterflies. 
Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed reading this story with me. I really enjoyed learning about caterpillars and how they turn into butterflies with you. And if you go outside today, keep your eye out for some butterflies. Maybe you can look at some leaves and see if you can see a tiny egg that may turn into a caterpillar. But don't touch it. Just use your eyes. My friends, I can't wait to see you guys soon. But until then, big hugs from me to you. Bye.